people welcome back to another video so the day's finally come where i've ordered some stuff and it's rocked up in the mail so today i'm just going to start putting it in roughly um and see how i want to fit it as uh someone put it to me game of tetris so we're going to play a bit of uh tetris 12 volt so as you can see behind me i've got a heap of inner drive stuff um i'm really excited for this i decided to run lithium which is really exciting um Exciting for its pros, definitely not its cons. Cons being it costs a flopping heap. Um, this here is a Enerdrive 125 lithium battery. It's actually not even that heavy because it's lithium. Now, what I paired up with the battery was pretty much what Enerdrive recommended. Um, they had a few deals going on with the 125 amp hour battery with a 40 amp charger. So that's pretty much what I paired it up with. Um, and yeah, got the charger. It's got, what does it say, multi-stage, multi-source, and it's got solar, so it's pretty good. Um, and also, brought down here, you can see, um, their 1000 watt uh, sine wave inverter to run some 240 volt stuff, which should be good. Um, also got the, what brand is it? Victron Energy battery monitor. Now, I'll pick this over the actual Enerdrive one, because a friend of mine who is a very smart electrician runs a very similar setup to this, but a bit bigger. And he reckons that these are the bees and E's, so I was going, well, might as well buy something that someone reckons is good. So I went with this, this is exciting. It's got a really nice little right here, um, display and a little flush mount. It's got a, what do you call it, a shunt, um, and just some cabling and stuff, which is cool. And then um, off the, website that I bought off, I just bought a fuse block. That's all I've got for now. Um, I started off with this because it gives me a good place to go from there. Um, so pretty much all I'm going to do is to figure out what else I need is you pretty much just open the manual um, for the charger and it tells you what size wire you need to run from your starter battery or alt matter battery, whatever you want to call it, um, to your charger. And then it also tells you sort of size circuit breakers you need um, and all the other stuff. And same with the um, inverter, it just tells you all the stuff that you need to run. So I haven't bought any wire yet for that reason. Um, but all I'm doing now is, as I said, playing Tetris. It's been a few weeks, guys, since I've last sort of touched on my whole 12 volt um, and since getting my charger and inverter. So since then, I've ordered some things off eBay um, because the budget has gone down a little bit because everything costs so much. Um, but most of the stuff has finally arrived and I've been mucking around trying to fit everything in my little fridge box. So I've got my 60 amp circuit breaker, my 70 amp circuit breaker. Now these are just off eBay. I pay like 15, 17 dollars. If they go to crap, I'm just gonna go to an auto leg shop and buy a proper circuit breaker. But my mate runs them and his seem to be okay. I think this is 8 gauge twin core stuff, um, if you're down here in Victoria, this is from MCC, um, I just bought that off their eBay website because they had it, I got 10 metres of that because it was super cheap, um, I also went to um, JCAR and bought some wiring, this really hurt the bank, so for my charger, um, in my little book, which I, there you go, I got it here, in the little instruction manual, talks about wiring size and circuit breakers. So I have to run a 60 amp circuit breaker for that, and I think a 70 for my inverter, by memory, or the other way around. Um, but wire size, I have to run four gauge wire, which is pretty big. Um, not as big as some people, my mate's running zero gauge, which is stinking huge. Um, but I went to JCAR, bought um, 10 meters of both black and red, so I can run from battery, main battery in my, in my where are we? under my bonnet to my battery in my canopy and then from there the charger and all the stuff I figure I get a bit extra um, 
save me having to muck around and go buy more because hopefully this weekend I can start wiring it up. All hell has broken loose, drilled a hole through the canopy and completely botched it up. Um, <laughs> almost want to cry, but sort of fixed it. I ended up putting it in a shit spot and couldn't do it, so I just had to mount. I ended up just doing a plate like that, just, so I just drilled a big hole all the way through, a little hole in the plate and sickered it. And then if I ever take the canopy off, we get a chance to and remember, I'll freaking rivet it on. That's done, now we're just putting wire and conduit. Tommy's here, give me a hand. <laughs> he hates this. Um, yeah, so we'll run some wires. Um, pretty much an Anderson plug, and then from an Anderson plug up into the canopy, and it's pretty simple. It's almost just plug and play, so hopefully it goes well. So a bit of progress has been made. We've been running some wires now for the last bit. I'm just working on the solar input. Um, I drew another one of those grommet thingos for solar. So this is going to run down here, around and up, just because I wanted it tucked as far in the corner as I can on my headboard. We've got the biggest stinking Anderson plug it? Oh, I've ever seen in my life. Almost as big as my hand. Run, what, run that um, from the battery. So that's literally, it's not even hooked up yet. Um, that's it there, it runs down and then along my chassis and along all the way pops out there and then it'll come up through that bottom grommet thing into the canopy like so. Um, yeah, trying to get everything ready so I can put the floor back on and then put the wall in um, where the 12 volts going and then we can start pulling wires. So what's that? That's heat shrink. Mm. Heat shrink for the terminal. Remember how I was talking about doing this by yourself? Yeah, you weren't until I grabbed the camera. Absolute bastard. Heat guns are Probably sick. don't want that heat shrink label facing up because that looks shit. <laughs> that heat gun is here. Never put the bloody heat gun near the carpet. You melt yours? Yeah. We should have done this. We should have, we should have run it through both holes first. Hold it up. Nice and neat. Hey, looks all right. So pretty much just wiring up what we can now on the panel itself from make circuit breaker. Life, make life a bit easier. From circuit breaker to charger. Um, and then, yeah, it's pretty much it. So which one was this one? Battery in from... A bit more progress has been made. With Put the floor in, pulled the floor out, put the balls in, just muck around, forget to put wires through the, the grommet through the bottom. So they're all in, we're mucking around now with the actual 12 volt panel charger, circuit breakers, um, and then to battery, and then on my negative of my battery, um, I have my module for my battery monitor. That, it's called a shunt, it's a pretty rude word, but. Um, <laughs> It is what it is. Well, I forgot anything, Tommy. What else are um, you doing? Ah, oh, solar. So that's sort of where we're at. Just trying to run things mildly neatly. I feel mildly useless right now. Tommy's doing everything. But he knows how to keep the smoke in the wires, and I don't. So. Well, that's the hint, isn't it? You make sure the smoke stays in the wires. Yeah. Um, pretty much just following literally what the instructions say in the manuals of everything. It's basically, how do I explain it before? It's a, it's a long wire like this with multiple freaking connections of different things. Pretty much? Pretty much. Pretty much. 
All right, it's getting late. We've been mucking around on this for a while. Uh, I've set the camera down so we can just get a fair bit done. So apologise, we've just sort of jumped ahead. Um, we just powered it up for the first time. It all seems to work. I mean, the smoke's still on the wires, eh? <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, we're just mucking around with the settings at the moment, trying to figure it out. Um, we ran all the wires we had to. Tom's hooked it up to the battery, our starter battery. I was faffing around with the ignition What's it called? Ignition wire? I don't know. Yeah. Um, which we hooked up to a SIG socket in the car that goes, it goes on ignition. So there's my, there's my panel. Um, what we've done specifically too is left enough wire behind the panel so we can actually get to it. So as you can see, there's plenty of room to muck around on it. That's definitely not staying like that. That's just sort of for now, us trying to figure out how it's going to work. Um, I'm going to have to hide a lot of those wires and tuck them around. Um, yeah, so that's the exciting bit done, I think. Mm -hmm. um, I've finally hooked up the inverter, which is sick. Um, it's literally red wire to red wire and black wire to black wire, whatever, to battery and fuse and some other stuff in between. So. Hooked up the switch, I've got the also battery monitor on, I think, yeah. yeah. Let's get some light in here and we'll give you a look. Probably can I uh, maybe be able to see that. There you go, lights up, which is fun. That's on. It's off, nice remote switch. It's all the way in the back there, so there we go. So I'm just going to try and neaten up these wires by running them here for now. I'll put eventually conduit in. Um, I'm going to... Oh, it's so dark. This USB, about to wire this up. So it's literally the same thing. I'm going to run it all the way to the back, through there, draw a little hole there. I'll come out to my 12-volt panel, to my fuse block, and I'll wire that in. And we'll go from there. Uh, well, you guys done pretty well if you got this far through the video. Unfortunately, I didn't get Tommy to explain to you how 12 volts going, so it's going to get me and hopefully I've done it right. Um, but we'll see. So I've got a pissy little whiteboard which I've drawn it up on and it's pretty messy. It looks like a grade one kid's uh, notebook, but we'll see how we go. See if we can't make any sense of this at all. Um, so you were seeing us do um, positive negative lines with conduit from the startup battery under my bonnet along the chassis and then to my charger. Um, so off that, we just got a 70 amp breaker off the positive, um, just to protect this battery. Um, and then next along, we pretty much hooked up straight from the charger, straight to the lithium. Um, so on the negative line, we put the shunt, which is for my monitor. So that's that funny unit we put in there. And then there's just a, um, a data cable that comes from the shunt to the monitor, so that's off that line. And then off the positive to the lithium, there is a 60 amp circuit breaker to protect this battery. Um, and then I don't know, we'll continue from that battery then. Uh, from there, we go straight down to my inverter. Um, so that's hooked directly to that battery. Um, and on the positive line, there is a 100 amp fuse, which comes with the inverter, which was pretty nice. Um, and then, oh, Ooh, important one. Um, from the lithium battery, this blue one is the temperature sensor cable that goes to my charger. Um, that also comes with the charger, which is nice. Um, and then there's also solar input from the charger, so that was just run through an Anderson plug through the wall of the canopy and out. Pretty much this one. And then if you see over here, we got this ignition key. Um, that was just a little positive wire that we run out the canopy along the chassis up into the cab and then I'll hook that up to um, a little bit of a SIG socket. Um, so that's what that one is. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks guys, God bless you, and I'll see you in the next one.